Pound for Pound Sports Entertainment, man. What's going on? Ah, big fight last night. First of all, before I say anything, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button for your boy. It's your host, F. Merritt. What can you say? Lomachenko, Devin Haney. I enjoyed the fight. I, I thoroughly enjoyed the fight. I did. Um, Sold out MGM. Undisputed. 135 belts on the line. ESPN pay-per-view. Las Vegas. It is what it is, man. As far as the fight was concerned, I enjoyed the fight. I love the fight. It's a lot of crybabies out here, okay? I'm okay with the result, me personally. I'm okay with Devin Haney winning the fight. Cool. Unanimous. A lot of people complaining, oh, Loma Chico really won that. Celebrities coming out, getting on Twitter, getting on their social media. Uh, fighters complaining and crying. Man, Loma won that fight. It doesn't matter. I don't care about anybody else's opinion except for the judges. That's it. We've been down this road before. We understand how boxing is. Sometimes the, 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 I guess the guy that you think you saw win the fight doesn't win the fight. It sucks. It is what it is, though. You know, um, this is what I love and hate about boxing, to be honest with you. I love it. Well, no, I hate it because, like I said, the first point, sometimes the, the right guy doesn't win. But then I, I, I love it because, okay, it makes the rematch better. Now, for whatever reason, some guys, a lot of guys don't get a rematch. I have a problem with it. If we got a super crazy, razor thin fight and people are willing to spend their money, <laughs> I'm going to say it again, spend their money to go see the fight, make that fight happen. Because, that's a, you know, at the end of the day, that's the bottom line. It's about money. This is why a lot of guys don't get opportunities. They don't make money. This is why a lot of guys avoid certain guys. That they, The guys might be better than you, but you're, you gotta, you got to sell some tickets. You got to be a showman. Sometimes this is where belts don't matter, as they would say in boxing nowadays. Man, he ain't bringing nothing to the table, man. Man, he can keep the belt. I'm trying to get money. Eh, all that crap. <clears throat> but like I said, this is what I love and hate about boxing. Now, the big thing about this situation is, you know Lomachenko is going to want a rematch. Devin Haney has a decision to make if he's going to stay at 135 or move to 140. I believe this was the last fight on top rank as far as the contract for Devin Haney. That's mess major, because if I, I would imagine if you stay at, at top rank, you got Shakur Stevenson waiting on you. We could we could do a rematch, and then get a Shakur Stevenson fight with Devin Haney maybe next year. I'd be perfectly fine with that, right? If you go back to the zone with Mr. Eddie Hearn, I mean, she, you want to go to 140? That's cool. We got Regis Progress over there, WBC champ. Okay, we still got Montana Love over there. Got a couple other 140 pounders over there, right? So, you know, and you, good relationship with Eddie Hearn. Eddie Hearn, you know, lets you go to ESPN. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Now, if he stays, no, if he stays at top rank and decides to move up to 140, they got Teofimo Lopez there. They've been wanting to fight each other for a while. Well, I'll just say Devin and his team been wanting to fight Teo for a while. The, the backstory is there. The build up is there. You got Josh Taylor. He was an undisputed champion at 140. Technically, he never lost the belts. He just gave the, gave up all of them except for one. You could fight the T.O. Josh Taylor winner, right? I believe that's what, next month in July or something like that? June, July, sometime. So Devin has some, has some decisions to make. Um, as far as him coming in, he looked good as far as the weight this fight compared to the Cambosas fight because that Cambosas fight, you look terrible. I ain't going front. You look bad, man. You looking like uh, extra in Michael Jackson thriller. Real talk, it was bad, man. That weight cut was terrible. But I mean, you got to factor in the fact that he was in Australia. That's totally different. I don't know if he brought his food over there. I don't know if he, you know, what I'm saying, I don't know how long he got over there before trying to, you know, get get used to the, the time difference and stuff like that and the different kind of food. You know, what I'm saying, different parts of the world. This and this goes for anybody who ain't really traveled outside of wherever you are but different places different types of food like there's certain chemicals in the food that your body reacts to it differently some food is better some food isn't better like it just depends on where you are so you got to get acclimated to the, the time you got acc acclimated to the weather and get acclimated to the, the food over there that's a whole different thing when you're trying to cut weight and you're already big for 135 so this weight cut he looked good he looked healthy um he performed well 
So him and Lomachenko perform well. Um, I'm just tired of it. I don't want to hear no crying, man. That, that comes from the Lomachenko fans slash Devin Haney haters. I don't want to hear no more crying. Like, you guys had to fight. It is what it is. The better man won. The judges thought the better man won. Not one judge on their panel thought Lomachenko won. So all this uh, Lomachenko's manager saying, oh, we're going to protest this, this win and stuff like that. And we're going to file this. Man, shut up. Shut up. You lost. Holler at Bob. Try to get a rematch. That's it. Holler at Bob. Try to get a rematch. You might have to take a little bit less money. I believe uh, but from what they say, I'm not trying to pocket watch. I really don't care. But from what they say, Devin Haney made four million guaranteed. I think Loma made, I think, three or two and a half, something like that. Whatever. That's cool. Get your money. I ain't mad at it. But just know that rematch, especially with all this controversy and stuff, it's not going to do nothing but build up this fight. And that's going to be even more money. Straight up. What the heck is that? Okay. Just had a light hit in my beard. All right. Anyway. But yeah, man, it's even just more money. I would love to see the rematch. I'm not going to lie. I think the big story for this is Loma starting to feel more comfortable and break uh, Devin Haney down. And then Devin Haney's body work. He put in a lot of good body work in the first half of the fight, kind of abandoned it. He ba abandoned it. Well, he abandoned it in the um in, in the in the middle. Well, in the second half of the fight, that's where Loma started winning some of his rounds. And I honestly believe if Loma would have won the twelfth round, I think they probably would have gave it to him. Honestly, I think they probably would have gave it to him. So for me, honestly, I was okay with Devin Haney winning. I would have been okay with a draw for the sport of boxing. I feel like. I feel like for the betterment of boxing, this fight should have probably been a draw. Honestly. Yeah. I feel like this fight for the betterment of boxing should have been a draw. We do. We, fans are already crying for a rematch. We really would have had to do a rematch as opposed to a rematch being an option for Mr. Devin Haney. You know? But salute to Devin Haney, man. He's defended his undisputed belts. What? He won him from Candace, I mean, Cambosos. He became undisputed Cambosos. He defended it Cam, against Cambosos. Then he comes in and defends it against Lomachenko. Come on. Lomachenko's, what, 35 years old? And, and old 35 as well. Man, I don't. I think you need to move back down and move down to 130. That's just me. If I'm Lomachenko, I would move down to 130, try to get the, uh, try to get a belt real quick, and then try to get the winner of, uh, was it Oscar Valdez? and Navarrete whenever they fight. That's how you do it. You unify after that, and then you retire. That's it. We don't need it. Undisputed is cool. Some guys don't need it. Some guys need it. It is what it is. It is what it is, man. But as far as the fight was concerned, I loved the spectacle. It was a great spectacle. It liked the fans. I loved the the, the, the crowd was great. Uh, the fight itself was great. Both guys were showing their skills and, and high ring IQs, man. That's why I'm like, I'm not really mad how this fight could have went. If you would have had Loma winning, I'm not mad at you. You had Devin winning, I'm not mad at you. Draw, I'm not mad at you. Because it was a lot of swing rounds in there. It could have went either way. It just depends on how you see the fight and how you scored. So I'm not mad at the judges. I want a rematch. I honestly want a rematch. And I honestly feel like Devin Haney is the undisputed underdog. That is honest. Devin Haney is the undisputed underdog. Some people are going to pick... Devin, some people are going to pick Shakur Stevenson over Devin Haney. Some people are going to pick Javante Davis over Devin Haney. If he gives Lomachenko a rematch, some people are going to pick Lomachenko over Devin Haney. It seems like no matter what Devin Haney does, y'all beat him up about it. Okay? He gets the belt at first, the WBC belt, because Lomachenko doesn't want to fight him. He becomes a franchise uh, champ, and, and, and uh, Devin Haney becomes the the reg, you know, the, the WBC belt via email. Y'all hating him, hating on him, saying, oh, he's an email champ. Why not get mad at Lomachenko? Okay, that's number one. Number two, he goes in there. He fights Cambosos after Cambosos defeats uh, Tio Fima Lopez after months and months of pulling up on Tio and getting in his face and saying he wanted to fight him and stuff. Tio, for whatever reason, you know, he had to fight. He had to fight his mandatory and in, in, uh, in Cambosos. He lost that fight, lost all his belts. David Haney goes in there. Beats, beats Cambosos, not only beats him, dominates him for 12 rounds in his home country. Twice. Everybody tries to say, oh, man, man, Cambosos was nothing, right? Now he beats, now 
Devin Haney goes in there and beats a a better Lomachenko. Because guess what? If, if Lomachenko would have came fresh off the war from Ukraine and stuff like that, and then got in the boxing ring with him, and Devin Haney would have beat him, that would have been the first excuse. But no, 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 no. He lets him get a tune up. He struggled in a tune up against uh, uh, Jermaine Ortiz, but Devin Haney lets Devin, Devin Haney lets Lomachenko get his tune up. Then they had this fight, close fight. He beats Lomachenko. I don't care. How you feel? I don't care if you're crying. I don't care if you're mad at the judges. I don't care if you're mad at Devin Haney, whatever. But he beats him. So you have a a guy that was ducked, becomes undisputed, defends his undisputed belts two times, and you still won't give him no credit in a great performance. I don't understand. What does Devin Haney, what does Devin Haney have to do to get some respect? Honestly, youngest undisputed champion of all time. Oh man, we gotta look at that. But youngest undisputed champion. And he still hated on him. Come on, man. No matter what Devin Haney does, y'all gonna hate him. Y'all hated him when he pushed Loma at the at the way in. To me, that was frustration. And, and, and you know that the moment's finally here. And we could have had this fight four years ago. All that energy, all that that, you know, everything that, that frustration was built up. That's why he did it. And not to mention, nobody wants to talk about this, but it actually helped promote the fight even more. He chose heel in wrestling terms. They had Loma Chico coming in as the good guy and you know, all that crap. Devin Haney was the heel. And guess what? In heel fashion, sometimes the heel beats the baby face, as they would say. And hopefully the hate that you have for Devin Haney will translate into pay-per-view buys. Because hopefully you guys can tune in to try to watch him lose. And like I said before, Devin Haney is the undisputed underdog only thing he can do is go out there and prove y'all wrong he's only thing he can do is go out there and let your hate motivate him that's it so with that being said stop crying lomachenko fans stop crying boxer fans stop crying straight up lomachenko his team is all love and respect you you're a great fighter i love your style the matrix i respect it but in this situation man you just came up short i honestly think like i said if you would have won that 12th round you probably wouldn't have won the fight you honestly probably would have but you didn't do enough maybe you started too late maybe you were taking too many body shots honestly could have tightened up the defense to the body maybe i don't know but as far as the fight was concerned i love the fight like i said Devin haney is the undisputed underdog and what do they do underdogs go out there and try to prove everybody wrong turn that hate into motivation baby with that being said hit the like button comment below share do all of that hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to the channel hit the subscribe button for your boy it's your host f merit pound pound sports entertainment i'm out